This is a tutorial for the upgraded Guarding Vision app. Go to your app store, grab this app, Guarding Vision, open it. I've already downloaded it. There's several different ways to connect to your video. We won't cover peer to beer or cloud connection on this one. We're going to cover manually adding a device. When we download this app and we get it open, you'll notice on the top right we have a search field, a playback field, and a plus sign. To add your device, we're going to select the plus. Then we're going to select manual add. When we select manual add, we have two options. Guarding vision domain, serial number. Over here to the right, we're going to tap on the bottom, we're going to select IP domain. In these fields, you will fill in the credentials as I supply them to you. Once done, you'll hit the save button in the top right, and it'll automatically bring you back to this screen where it will show the location that you named and the available cameras at that location. Once we're at this screen, we can select one camera to view live view. If we tap on that picture once, it'll bring up the menu. Different channels. If we want to go to a four camera grid, or across the bottom, we have standard definition, audio, pause, digital zoom, the ability to take a snapshot, video, pan tilt zoom, microphone, or alarm events. For this video, the majority of the time, most people will just click on standard definition and go to clear if you'd like and you notice it'll reload a new image. Once we have that new image it allows us to zoom in so we can interrogate the video better with the higher resolution image. The higher resolution image uses a lot of bandwidth so I recommend that as soon as you're done you turn it back down to fluent. If you want to look at more than one video at a time, you can just select the whole DVR and it will load all of the cameras and allow you to swipe through them. You can select a 16 channel grid and look at them all if your bandwidth will support it. Keep in mind this requires a really good internet connection. If you accidentally delete a camera from your video, we can go up here, select our location, and if you notice it's no longer checked, we'll recheck that. Then we'll hit OK. Notice the camera reloads. So our list of cameras is up here, or we can go back here to our desktop page where we can select from however many locations we happen to have loaded. We also have a playback tab. This playback tab can be accessed either from this screen or from this screen. When we're here, we click on this, We click on the three icons on the top right, and notice we have the playback icon. Once we're in the playback icon, we have the timeline as it's associated with this camera. We can go to a four camera grid 
in playback and we can add other cameras start playback there's a blue border right here around this particular image if I tap here the blue border moves to this one this blue border references the timeline these cameras do not play synced so when you tap this one you're on this timeline if you tap this one now you're on this timeline they are playing at different times please make note of that if you'd like to take a snapshot click the button and it grabs a snapshot of the image with the blue border if you'd like to take a quick video you can tap on that to start the video tap on it again to end the video let's exit playback let's go back to the main menu from here we can go to more once we're in more notice pictures and video here is a snapshot that we took just a moment ago from here we can send it to a contact or we can delete it same thing with the video we can play it save it to a different area or share it or delete it then across the bottom back to the guarding vision main page Again, select a camera, select a DVR, change the amount of cameras you want to look at, go full screen on an image, change the resolution of that image. Zoom in on the image. Flip it back to standard definition select a different camera enter playback from this menu or enter playback from this menu settings is an advanced feature I'm going to ask you to not use that And that concludes our brief tutorial of the new Guarding Vision app. Thank you.